So the background of the study that um, I'm presenting at ESMO today is um, looking at, um, <clears throat> sorry, uh, 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 looking at trastuzumab duration. So um, in HER2 positive breast cancer, and what we've done is a meta-analysis um, of five studies. So there were five studies altogether looking at 12 months, which is the standard of care length of trastuzumab versus less. Um, and we were very fortunate to get together all of these five um, trials and the um, PIs and trialists uh, in, in a collaboration to put all the data together um, to see what, uh, you know, whether we would be able to use less trastuzumab, basically. Um, so we've done a meta-analysis. There have been uh, about 10, already 10 published uh, meta-analyses of 12 months standard of care versus less trastuzumab in, obviously we're talking about um, adjuvant treatment of HER2 positive uh, patients with breast cancer. So, um, but those 10 studies um, were all, all used uh, published data. Um, and our study is unique in using um, individual patient data for our meta-analysis. In addition, um, eight of those 10 studies used what I would call a superiority um, statistic, which is the commonly used um, uh, methodology for uh, meta-analyses. Um, but since all of these trials are non-inferiority trials, so slightly different from a statistical point of view, uh, we have used uh, non-inferiority statistics and only two of those 10 studies used those. Um, so we were fortunate to get all five uh, trial trials uh, collaborating in this meta-analysis. Well, the key findings that I'm going to present today are that uh, when you look at 12 months standard of care versus six months treatment, that we have confirmed that that is um, uh, six months is non-inferior to 12 months. So it's pretty much the same, um, the outcomes. Um, now, um, the so when you set up a non-inferiority trial, you, you set some limits. Um, so what actually was the difference? So for the six, the difference between the six month and the 12 month arm was only 0.7%. So a very, very small difference. And from, the, from a statistical point of view, that confirms that six months is non-inferior to 12 months. Now, saying something is non-inferior is kind of an awkward thing to say uh, and it's a difficult thing for people to understand but essentially it means that in the parameters that we set um, there is no, no appreciable difference. Now the way um, that we, we hope that this is going to impact um, these results are going to impact on what people do in the future. Um, the, the, the difficulty with uh, de-escalation studies and or what have also been called de-implementation. So once you've shown something that giving six months is not worse than giving 12 months, then how do you implement that? And uh, in medicine and actually in life, taking things away or de-implementing something is much, much more difficult for human beings to uh, accept. So um, although the, the, the result from our own trial, the Persephone trial was, was presented and published uh, two and three years ago, there's been no change in practice, there's been no impact. So I think this time with this result, um, what we're going to be suggesting is that 
um, rather than saying, well, guidelines should change, the guidelines should simply be permissive. Um, so that let's say, for example, I'm a, uh, I'm a woman, I, I've got HER2 positive breast cancer, I'm low risk, so I only need single agent trastuzumab, and I've, re I've had six months. Well, then I should be, what I should be doing is sitting down with my oncologist and looking at the evidence that carrying on for another six months is worth, is worth it for me. Um, so the benefits from that point for me would be quite marginal. And the, um, the risks are that I develop uh, cardiac problems or I continue to get mild toxicity that I've already had and those continue for another six months. And of course, we're now learning about um, and hearing about uh, financial toxicity. So even in uh, the UK, where we have a national health service, so the patient doesn't have to pay for their medicines, there are nevertheless, there's significant financial toxicity from continuing on treatment when you could have stopped. So I think what we're advocating um, is that uh, after six months, single agent trastuzumab Patients, we, we, we want to empower personalized patient choice.